guys, so today we're out here in Angeles City in the Philippines. So we're actually at, gonna walk into what used to be Clark Air Force Base. So Clark Air Base was opened in 1903 by the Americans and then it shut down in the 90s because of the eruption of Mount Pinatubo, the volcano. But for a long time through the Vietnam War, the war in, uh, against Japan, everything, they had a huge presence here. And if you look, you can still see Air Force infrastructure. Anybody that's been on a USAF base knows like this type of steel, bland bullshit. <laughs> you guys know I was army, but yes. So, you know, this is how it works, right? So if you look, this is, uh, this is what used to be an Air Force base and a big one for a long, long, long time. So today we're gonna walk around Clark. We're gonna look at, we're over near the airport, the military installation park, the mall, the fun part. So we're gonna show you a little bit about Angel City today, okay guys? Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and most importantly, enjoy. This is Army Guy Travels. So my first impressions of this place, to be bluntly honest, I saw a ton of lady boys, a ton of whorehouses and bars. So if that's what you're coming here for, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, a lot of walking streets are closed on the weekends or during the day, I mean, but these are all open with girls in them. So it's a Monday at 3 p.m. and uh, they're popping. So if that's what you're looking for, guys, Angel City might be the place for you. I'm gonna be bluntly honest with you though. Walking streets, while fun, are starting to bore me a little bit. The same old, same old, it's kind of depressing. But yeah, SM City Clark, this is the mall. Just need to find a spot to walk over. But over here, or I'll see Pink Bunny, like all those are strip clubs over here, or lady bars. So you'll buy the girls a, a drink and then they'll try to, to get you to take them home. So, sorry, it's really bright. And I need a haircut so I can, this hat's too damn big. So I just need to get a haircut. So we're gonna go in the mall, have some food, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a haircut. they built it so far away but way off to the far right is their helipad Where, over here yeah it, you, you'll see it could you see the wind oh you mean for the hospital for the hospital i don't that's, know why they didn't build it closer that's stupid it, it should have been right on top of the building it could have been top of, but apparently they didn't build it to <laughs> they didn't want the roof to collapse oh uh, yeah so probably they, they didn't they didn't reinforce the roof so the building's really open. no no no, no, no. This is over here, new hospital. yeah these over here yeah. are the new hospital so this is like but they built the helipad over there, he said. So even these pieces right here, Cherry uh, Car, that's in China, the coffee shop, this is all new. They got much motorcycles in here. So you see the kind of businesses that's growing over here, right? A lot of entrepreneurs, businesses are investing. So it, what does it bring? More jobs, yeah, uh, more revenue. Obviously, the base is making big money. Meters, okay. yeah, so I negotiated ahead of time. I, I don't, yeah. I don't play that meter stuff. Yeah. because they can change the settings oh yeah like and by the way guys yeah. that's something you have to remember when you travel down here yes and not just philippines but just internationally in general like it's better if you can negotiate a price like hey i'm going here how much uh 500 pesos okay i'll give you four like the and then maybe they say 450 and now you you've got a definite number yeah instead of they switch a certain setting on the meter and now it's a oh, thousand yeah. you know like yeah, and it, it happens or, oh, and I'll, I'll tell you guys a good one. Vietnam, be careful. They, I, I've, I've heard it from many people, they do sleight of hand with the money. They'll sleight of hand with the money. The day I got to, the, to Vietnam on the bus, 
I got a taxi from the bus station to my hotel and what they did was um, he goes oh no that's not the right bill what do you have and then they'll swap it but not give you the other back and then slide it around next thing you know you're out yeah. a million dong when it's only supposed to be 280,000 does this light change yeah it will, it will. so just be careful guys because the slide of hand that's I the only place I've seen it no no it happened to me here in Philippines yeah yeah oh it, and it was a, it was an older lady that, that scammed me at a money changer down in Manila I, I go there I, I get the money changer and then she did a little quick switch and you know did it so fast and missed okay where, where we're going now uh, there's a couple places I want to show you guys I don't think Mark has even seen it yet okay the, they, they have what are called the goddess of peace memorial here it's a Japanese place but it's on the way to go show you the two uh, bus up here yeah the goddess of peace make a right so this is the goddess of peace statue right here Kelly died during World War II. He was shot down over here. So over here, I, here. I think this is Captain uh, Kelly right here, the first one. Yeah, this is Captain Kelly. So this is something that we at the VFW are trying to get together. We're gonna to want to redo all that, redo all this, move this to a better location because it's just neglected over here. Yeah, they're yeah. not being cared for. And they're gonna eventually turn this into the airport anyways, right? Correct. Correct. So you're, they're gonna have to move it. Right, the airport's gonna expand. So this, so he tells you the whole story here. The American's first hero, World War II, Captain Kelly, flew on a mission with his crew aboard the US uh, uh, fighter aircraft known as the Flying Fortress, essentially bombing the Japanese cruiser. Yeah, and uh, he died on his way back to Clark. The plane crashed down here in Mabalakot. It was attacked by a Japanese fighter piloted by Lieutenant Sakai Saburu. He was posthumously awarded the Distinguished Service Cross by General MacArthur and President Roosevelt. He was the first West Pointer in U.S. history to fly the Flying Fortress. Okay. So this guy, he survived the war. Lieutenant Colonel Boyd Buzz Wagner. Okay. Buzz Wagner, as, as a captain, was the commander of the 17th Pursuit Squadron at Clark Field. In December of four, uh, 1941, he succeeded downing Zero fighters in air combat over uh, a party and destroyed five uh, more on the ground at Vegan Airfield. He was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross by General MacArthur for his heroism and later became the first American World War II ace. So he was the first ace pilot. Right, in World War II in, in, the, in the Pacific. Okay. Yeah, and I would say maybe in the World War II because as far as the U.S., the U.S. got involved in World War II after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, yeah. correct? So that's why, uh, you know, he was the, the first ace. This guy survived the war. He ended up dying in the, in the, in the U.S. Yeah, Too but bad. this yeah, stuff, we need to save U.S. We, we want, we're working on it. Uh, the VFW is working on it. Uh, so which, if, so for well, the ones of you that haven't been in the military, what a parade me, ground is, right is whenever they have um, like a formation, a ceremony, people units are getting ready to deploy or such or even for PT sometimes where we do physical training um, they use the parade grounds so if there's a change of command where one leader is coming in another one's going out um, yeah so that's what a parade ground is oh wow there it is so there's a big katabao right now Grace will tell you the katabao represents it's a water buffalo right strength it represents a lot in the Philippines right strength. a lot of the, the units the army units and all they use the Carabao to represent you know how strong and tough they are and that's that's the Carabao oh they you, close out you one. used to be able to drive there yeah but now they use it for uh, kids to play right bike left but uh, Manawak has a famous church that's that's it. I knew yeah. there was something famous about it by the way guys I, I should have been I've, I've been rude we should inter introduce everyone. So in the front driving, we've got Mark, my buddy from Texas. Hey, how's it? Right behind, you've got the future Mrs. Avery. One day, one day, one day. Grace. Grace, it's Grace. And then? Uh, I'm Eric. Eric. Yes. So Eric has lived, lived in Clark for how long now? 10 years. 10 years. Yes. And he was stationed here a long, long time ago. Yes. And uh, was one of the commanders of the VFW? Yes. Uh, for how long? I was two years from 2000 to 2022. I mean, 2020 to 2022. Oh, the rough time during the pandemic. <laughs> yes, a little bit. Um, yeah. And then 
more restaurants. Wow, always, that's really nice. Always lots of new, yeah, these are all new buildings. Now this is the old, it's still operational Clark Museum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a golf course on the left. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, my buddy opened a business in, in, uh... 36 hole, look how big this one is. Oh, wow. 36 hole golf course. Two oh, courses. this is Korea CC. Yeah. Korea. So that's what this is. Yes. So it's a golf course. So the Koreans bought it. Oh, big. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got Korean letters on it and everything. Uh, when they had a big expo, when you come over here for a fair. What was it called? Uh, the Philippine Expo. What was the actual name of it? Oh uh, my gosh. The Nyong, what uh, was it? Well, we go down to the right, you can see it. I can't pronounce it. Nyong Filipino? Nyong. Nyong. Nyong Filipino. So, you know, what does that mean? We are Filipino. We are Filipino. We are Filipino. So they used this before for training. They they, they converted it for the front, the flavor. Yeah, they oh, do, they, they do that on trikes too, dude. It's awesome. Like this one jeepney had a, a Playboy symbol, like bunny ears and stuff, and then like Playboy down the side, and like Playboy on the visor. It was it was funny. And right, they Mark and Grace. Overseas, oh, don't they? Huh? Don't they do that someplace? Over they do it everywhere, yeah. That mountain is so pretty back there. All right, travelers, so today we are out here at Subic Bay. This used to be the big Navy base for the United States here in the Philippines. Now, ever since the eruption of Pinatubo, it is no longer a base, but it is still gorgeous. Guys, look at this. So we're about an hour and a half from Angeles City. But look at the beautiful backdrop of these amazing mountains. And then we've got the... This is really, really pretty. This beautiful backdrop. Green, lush mountains with the clouds right behind it. This is gorgeous. So this is the Lighthouse Hotel right here with the beautiful lighthouse built into the bar. But yeah, it's beautiful out here. There's lots of these small beach towns that, you know, you can get a room for $20, $30 a night. Um, actually, just up the road in Bulaton, they had a huge earthquake that got, that destroyed that area pretty bad. But yeah, I mean, this place is just relaxing and beautiful. A lot of Norwegians, we actually met some Norwegians. Um, so they, uh, they, we ended up staying up and eating some food and drinking with them last night. One of the guys is actually, it's his 71st birthday, so he's actually gonna be opening a new, um, a new property right over there for hotels to opening in December. If you look, the beautiful Filipino mountains are back here. Right now we're in northwestern coastal um, Luzon, Philippines. So, but yeah, I mean, imagine just all night long, all you do is you hear this beautiful, the ocean just crashing against, because my room is actually the first one right here. So I heard the waves all night long, you know, so. But yeah, we're out here, just a little beach towns, beach houses, fishermen. It's just a relaxing life. There's a nice pool, it's nice and comfy. They turn the lights on here at night, put music, and people were out here drinking last night and having a good time at the beach bar. Got a sound system. 
if you don't like all the frills and you like to just be able to relax and and chill this is a good spot right you can come here and just live a simple simple existence you know not everybody needs super fancy stuff and if you like to relax i mean imagine beautiful mountains subic bay is just down the road an hour and a half angela city is another hour past that you know just beach life relaxing beach life look at all these like shanty houses nice beach houses i bet the fish here is really good too i haven't had any fish yet but i bet this is a good spot for it the name of this town is zambales zambales philippines on the western coast of luzon so definitely check it out and if you like michis there's lots of michis they have lots of michis out here look michi one michi two more michis over here watch let's see if we can catch a michi 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 let's see yeah these michis are skitterish i was feeding one last night and he still didn't want to come give me lovings but yeah guys definitely check out white castle red red doors hotel it's cheap it's clean it's safe the people are very friendly the hosts are very friendly and these are some of the views you can get 